Welcome everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this time we're talking about that long-rumored Donkey Kong game. Is it going to be a two-dimensional Donkey Kong or a three-dimensional Donkey Kong game? That's the great debate, and today, that's what we're discussing. I think we may be finally getting close to a reveal, with Super Nintendo World due to have its Donkey Kong expansion opening sometime next year, if there is going to be a Donkey Kong game that's meant to cross-promote alongside this park and also the Mario Bros. movie, then we should be getting close to an announcement. If it doesn't happen in this highly likely September Nintendo Direct, then maybe sometime early next year. I think there's a pretty good chance a reveal is sometime close. Could I be wrong? For sure. But this Donkey Kong game has been rumored from several different places for a while. And it's been so long that even if there wasn't a rumor, it would make sense for Nintendo to be working on Donkey Kong. Especially accounting for the popularity of the Mario Bros. movie and the Donkey Kong Park expansion. But what direction is Nintendo going to go in? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we go further, let me point out that we are aiming to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. With your help, it can happen. So I remember the initial Donkey Kong rumors. There's a lot of conversation that it could be a side-scrolling Donkey Kong game. Why? Because that's what most of the Donkey Kong games have been, these side-scrolling Donkey Kong games. You have the Donkey Kong Country games from Super Nintendo, you have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat on the Nintendo GameCube, and you have the new Donkey Kong Country games on the Nintendo Wii and Nintendo Wii U. But there was one 3D Donkey Kong game that came out on the Nintendo 64. That format for Donkey Kong didn't really catch on. So from that perspective alone, it does make sense to think that the next Donkey Kong game is most likely going to be another side-scrolling Donkey Kong game. But I think this conversation should be a bit more nuanced than that, because there are other factors that maybe we should consider. So part of the initial rumor was that Nintendo wanted to make Donkey Kong big again, back how it was in its heyday. Donkey Kong is actually what popularized Nintendo in the West. Mario Brothers are actually a spin-off off of the original Donkey Kong. And supposedly this is an internal Nintendo team, Nintendo EPD not Retro Studios, who's currently working on Metroid Prime 4. Retro Studios was behind the recent Donkey Kong Country games we've gotten on the Wii and the Wii U. So when you take these things into consideration, if it's not Retro Studios who's already made the Country games, which were very high quality Donkey Kong games, and if you want to do something about the series to make it very popular again, then doing the same thing that it's been doing throughout its entire history I'm not so sure is actually the safest bet, despite the history of us pretty much only getting side-scrolling Donkey Kong games. I actually think that they probably are going to do something a bit different. Now you can maybe think that they might go in more of a 2.5D direction, and when I say 2.5D, it still would basically be side-scrolling gameplay, but it would have 3D environments maybe with some exploration from the foreground to the background, maybe some moments where the camera perspective changes. Except that's already been done before as well. In Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, during the boss fights, it would switch to behind the shoulder where you would fight the different bosses. And in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, there was a lot of jumping between the background and the foreground. There were moments where the camera perspective would change when you go through the barrels. So they did play around with perspective here. They did use 3D visuals. These were beautiful games for their respective times but they are ultimately still side-scrolling gameplay. So a 2.5D Donkey Kong game has essentially already happened. Now, could they push it more in this direction? Could they bring back that Jungle Beat aspect where there were fights that happened behind the shoulder? Could they also implement even more jumping between the background, the foreground, and more barrel blast moments where you move around in 3D? Maybe even some of this could be controlled. Maybe there could be a flying barrel. Maybe there could be some minecart parts where you're moving in 3D, but the traditional platforming moments are still side-scrolling Donkey Kong. So more of a 2.5D style, leaning more in that 3D direction, but not totally 3D. That's one possibility. I would say something like that is more likely than just what we've gotten before. More of an evolution. 
But there's another rumor to consider here that has been corroborated from several places. And that is that at one point, Activision was working on an open world 3D Donkey Kong game, but plans changed and they moved away from this, but Nintendo was still excited about the project and they wanted it to happen. Of course it didn't, so instead, they decided to work on Donkey Kong themselves, and then eventually that initial Donkey Kong rumor came to light. That's the basic story. So, if Nintendo had greenlit this open world Donkey Kong game, they would have allowed it to happen if things panned out. Then that shows Nintendo had a willingness, and if they then turned around and started Donkey Kong development themselves because they still want to modernize Donkey Kong and have something to be really successful, it doesn't necessarily mean they would go in an open world direction, but it does have me thinking that they might want to explore more with this idea of some 3D mechanics. One of the cool elements of this rumored cancelled Donkey Kong project was that you would move around like Tarzan, sliding through vines with some speed. Maybe they could incorporate this, maybe this could still fall into that 2.5D Donkey Kong, but there will simply be moments where it may transition to 3D, maybe when you're moving through vines where it's kind of more like a roller coaster, and still those other elements I presented before. Or maybe we're just going to get a Donkey Kong game that's actually a 3D Donkey Kong game. Maybe it could play kind of like Mario Odyssey with that kind of camera perspective and that ability to explore the world. Now this wouldn't be an open world game. Mario Odyssey is not an open world game, but it has these big sandbox like environments to explore. I would love that. But maybe something that wouldn't be as far in that direction would be something like what we saw with Super Mario 3D World or Kirby's Forgotten Land. So what's interesting about Kirby's Forgotten Land is that this was the first foray into 3D platforming for a Kirby game, and it's become the most successful Kirby game to date. It's my personal favorite Kirby game ever, and they moved away from just a side-scrolling, typical style of Kirby games. And we've seen a lot of Nintendo games where if they, when they go bigger, they tend to sell better. So taking Donkey Kong in a similar sort of direction might be a good idea if they're trying to really bring in the sales here. And something I speculated about Kirby before it was even announced was that they would sort of do an isometric style of gameplay, something very similar to 3D World, where you do have this environment you can move around in three dimensions, and you have a camera that you can control, but it's pulled back out a little bit, and you don't have free total reign of the camera, but limited control of that camera. Maybe that's something they can do for Donkey Kong. It's not full-on 3D, but it would be a huge step in that direction, or maybe it's somewhere in between that and Odyssey. And basically, it would be a Donkey Kong game where maybe there could be a series of levels, maybe there could be some large open-ish areas that you can explore. There could be a nice re-envisioning of maybe Donkey Kong Island in three dimensions, because it was done before with Donkey Kong 64. There's a lot of different directions they could go, and maybe they could take it in direction I haven't even discussed here. But if we're going to look at this 2D or 3D style of gameplay for this potential Donkey Kong game on a spectrum, if I had to guess, I would say that it would be maybe in the 3 quarters or 7 eighths direction of the spectrum. I think it's going to be more of a 3D style Donkey Kong game than a 2D style, but there may be a little bit of a marriage there where there are still a lot of those 2D elements. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart, thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.